Do you know how easy it is to onboard a storage device with Storage Insights? It's a few minutes process with simple steps and you are up and running. Let's see how to go about it. For IBM Storage Insights sign up. And look for the getting started with IBM Storage Insights. If you already have an IBM ID, then you don't need another one and you can just click to the sign up page. But if you don't have one, just click this link to get your IBM ID created and then go to IBM sign up page. Click to the sign up page. It brings a new page, which is a landing page for IBM Storage Insights. And you can click here, which will open a registration page for you. Now you just need to name the service like I gave it Piyush Company and your email ID is already picked up and then you just need to do submit. Once you click submit, Storage Insights instance gets created at the back end and you receive an email from IBM Marketplace team which indicates your subscription ID and also a link to your Storage Insights cloud instance which is labeled as access trial here. Once you click the button, you are taken to the welcome page of Storage Insights, indicating two choices of data collection, either using the data collector or using Call Home Cloud Service. Once you click Collect Metadata with Call Home, you see the list of eligible product and firmware listed here. Next step is to configure storage systems. And to complete this action, you need to log into Storage System GUI. Here I am logging into Flash System 92200 GUI, providing username password. It takes me to the Element Manager of 9200. Go to Settings, go to Support. Under Call Home, you see an option to add this device to a Storage Insight instance. When you add, it allows you to provide your IBM ID, which you use to create your Storage Insight instance in the first step. Once you provide the ID, it lists the Storage Insight instance, which you created earlier here to add this device to. Once you save, it processes this device, and then it takes you to the link of IBM Storage Insights. You click to this link, which redirects you to Storage Insight instance and already give a toast notification that you have a device which is trying to connect to this instance. When you click more details, you see the same device ready to connect. You go select the device and approve the connection. Once you approve the connection, you go to resource pages, look at the block storage devices and it's done you have the device available listed here which is in normal condition data collection is running data collection type is the call home with cloud service and the probe status is also running so you are good to go device is fully onboarded and you are enabled with storage insights cloud service for the given 9200 wow it was that simple isn't it so what are you waiting for Go and grab your Foundation Storage Insight instance for free today and upgrade to Pro if you're looking for some advanced capabilities. Thank you very much.